Hi friends, today we discuss about Memorandum of Association. What is Memorandum of Association? It is the main document of the company which defines its objectives and lays down the fundamental conditions beyond which the company cannot operate. We know that the formation of a public company involves the preparation and filing of several documents. Memorandum of Association is the most important document which a company has to file with the register for obtaining incorporation. So it is the charter or magna carta of the company. It governs the relationship of the company with the outside world. Memorandum of Association is therefore the principal document or constitution of the company which should be drafted with great care. Next we discuss about contents of Memorandum of Association. That involves name clause, situation clause, object clause, liability clause, capital clause and association clause. First one, name clause. Under this clause, the name of the company is mentioned. A company can have any name subject to some restrictions. The proposed name should not be identical with or which closely resemble the name of another company. The word limited or private limited must be the last word in the name of every public or private limited company. The name of the company can be altered only by a special resolution of the company and with the approval of the central government. Second one, situation clause. Situation clause is also known as domicile clause. Under this clause, the, the name of the state in which the registered office of the company is situated must be mentioned. Any changes of registered office of the company from one state to another state can be made only by a special resolution and confirmation of the court. Third one is object clause. It is the most important clause of this document. It sets out the object with the, with the company is formed. It defines the scope of activities of the company. The objectives of the company must be legal and very clearly defined. A company has only limited power to alter the object clause of the memorandum. Fourth one is liability clause. This clause indicates the liability of members. Whether the liability is limited by shares or guarantee should be clearly mentioned. In case of company limited by shares, the liability of the members is limited up to the face value of shares held by them. That means the liability of the members is extended to the amount remaining unpaid or uncalled on the share held by them. Fifth one is capital clause. This clause specially states the maximum capital with which the company is to be incorporated. The total capital is called by various names such as registered capital, nominal capital or authorized capital. The shares may be preference or equity shares. Sixth one is association clause. Association clause is also known as subscription clause. This is the last clause of the memorandum and is in the nature of a declaration by a person signing it that they are Desires of being formed into a company and they are willing to take up and pay for the number of shares mentioned against their names.